Hello and welcome to this video covering the features of the Sologenic AMM interface on the XRP Ledger. Today we will use the swap feature, add and remove liquidity to a pool, as well as explore the functionalities of the AMM. To interact with the Sologenic DEX, you'll need an up-to-date version of an XRP Ledger compatible wallet such as the Solodex wallet. To get started, log on to Sologenic.org and access the DEX. Next, select the Connect Wallet button and follow the prompts to connect your wallet to the DEX. Once connected, hover over the Swap tab at the top of the screen to access the Quick Swap feature as well as the liquidity pools. To utilize the Swap feature, first select which tokens you'd like to swap from the Token drop-down menu. In this case, I'm swapping Solo for XRP. At the top, we can see the price of each asset as well as the available liquidity for the pair. After entering the amount of the token you'd like to swap, make sure to review the estimated price impact, also known as the slippage, which refers to the difference between the expected price of a trade and the actual price at which a trade is executed. The higher the available liquidity, the lower the slippage will be. Then select confirm and sign the transaction with your XRP Ledger wallet to complete the swap. To add liquidity to an AMM pool, first select the Pools tab from the DEX. On the Pool page, you can select which pool you'd like to enter. Before providing liquidity, it's important to note a few things. For one, anyone can create a pool, so make sure to do your due diligence on the tokens in the pool and their issuers. Here, I'm looking at the Solo XRP pool, and I can find more information about the tokens and their issuing accounts by copying the issuer address here and searching the address on a reputable XRP Ledger Explorer such as BitHomp or XRP Scan. It's also important to note that single-sided deposits only interact with the AMM and not the order books and may be limited by available liquidity. When making a single-sided deposit to a pool that doesn't have significantly more liquidity than the size of the deposit, the deposit will incur a loss. To add liquidity, choose a single or two-sided deposit. When adding a two-sided deposit, the equal value ratio of assets will automatically be balanced for you. Once you've entered your desired amount, select Add Liquidity and sign the transaction with your wallet. To remove the liquidity, select the Remove Liquidity tab, choose one-sided or two-sided, enter the amount to remove, press Remove Liquidity, and sign the transaction with your wallet. On this pools page, I can see the spot price, the solo issuer address, the price and volume chart, the liquidity chart, a history of liquidity pool transactions, and the trust score for this pool. The trust score is a decentralized voting mechanism where users sign an XRP Ledger transaction to vote one time in favor or against a particular pool. I can also see the fee governance, where the pool's trading fee is set by the liquidity providers which vote for a fee amount between 0 and 1%. The trading fees are distributed to the liquidity providers in the form of LP tokens. The LP tokens can be used to place a bid for a spot to have a 24-hour slot of discounted trading fees in the pool. So in summary, the XRPL AMM instance acts as a self-sustaining liquidity pool that automates the buying and selling of assets. This concentration of liquidity allows assets to be traded more smoothly and at better prices. Thanks for watching.